So you probably clicked on this video because you're a builder in Minecraft. You like to build things. And obviously, when you're a builder, you always try to get better. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to build better in Minecraft. Or at least some useful tips uh, that hopefully will help you out um, in making something a little better than a box like this. So keep in mind if you see other builds out here, not all of them are actually mine. Uh, I'm, on an, I'm on the Afterlife Creative server. By the way, nice interior here. Kidding, this is not a nice interior. We can do a lot better than that. But today is not all about interiors. It's actually about exteriors and builds in general. And what exactly can we do to make something like this better? And, you know, y everybody's like, oh, you know, you can add some pillars on the corners great oh that's just awesome hey you can you can get some trap doors make it look like they're shut and guys don't forget you can add a path to your house oh my gosh look at that it's just it's just beautiful wow now i'm taking it a little bit of a step further uh so i i hope you know that adding pillars on your houses is a nice detail but yeah let's move on to my next example this is almost like an up i'm upgrading a house and the first thing, guys, that I'm going to tell you is that there's a stair missing there. No, but um, in order to make your builds better, you have to have multiple shapes inside of it. And here's just an example. You can see there's like a layout here of what I want to do with this box. The one thing you can do to add more depth to your builds, of course, you can indent walls and stuff. That adds depth. But what really, really helps it out is by adding more shapes to it. More shapes. I can build the world's most detailed box in Minecraft, but it won't be interesting simply because it's a box. I mean, people have seen boxes a million times over. This game is made of boxes. So you can see I'm adding a couple more shapes here, and once we go and build it up, you can see that this one box just turned into something quite magnificent here. Um, and also one more thing I'd like to note, and um, this is kind of not about shapes, but this is, it's actually the fact that I'm missing a stair on every single one of these builds. No, I'm kidding. There's different roofs, okay? Another thing you can do to make your builds interesting is add different roofs, add different shapes. Well, okay, it's a shape. Oh, man. I was trying to, like, stray away from the shape thing again, but you guys can just tell I am all about the shapes. You can see we got a triangle cone roof i guess and then we got another triangle roof and we got a different size triangle roof here so uh yeah just mixing up the shapes i probably should have done something different than a triangle oh well but anyways now you can kind of see what this just did to the box look look at that box over there you see it boring okay but now if we take a look here we just added a couple more shapes and it is looking so nice another pro builder tip i'd say is that when you're building, if I just built all these at the same roof line, like the roof went up to this level, uh, it would kind of look flat at the top. What you want to do is you want to add some Y variation. When you add things at different Y levels, like a tower here, uh, even, even just a chimney, um, or just another building a few blocks higher than the other one, it makes your eye just be like, huh, that's kind of cool to look at. <laughs> And I'm going to show you guys Blonde Skunk's castle. This is not mine. I, I repeat, this is not mine. Uh, I will leave Blonde Skunk's channel, YouTube channel, and Twitch channel in the description. He's a great builder, as you can see. I just want to further show you how uh, adding Y level, Y level variation. <laughs> We're just going to call it Yvar. Yes, we're calling it Yvar. <laughs> okay, and nobody can stop me from calling it Yvar. Um, but you can, <laughs> you can just see that these towers. Look at, look at this. You can see that there's towers jutting up, creating this skyline. You can see here, and it's not all flat. And there's so much more to look at that way. So much more. See, if this everything was at this wall level, you wouldn't be able to see the building back there. But when it's taller here you can kind of see the building. And guys, doesn't that make this build look much more grand to look at that way? I think it makes it look so cool. And now here's my castle, and I'm doing the same thing um, like skunks over there. You can see that everything is just at a different Y level. You know, Yvar. <laughs> this thing is taller than this thing over here. This is a little bit taller than this building over here. And you can see that this tower comes up to up here and although these are the this is the same exact roof as this one 
but since I added it at a different level, they look so cool. So, anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's get back to our uh, build upgrade, and we're not going to be talking about Yvar. I want to be talking a little bit about texture. How can it help your builds and color? So, you can see here we have spruce roof, spruce roof, spruce roof, and then over here we add a little bit of a dark oak roof. And that just mixes it up once again, and I do the same thing. I add some birch wood instead of all these oak wood walls, and I also did a little bit of stripped dark oak and strip spruce and once again uh, not only do you have Yvar mixing it up you have texture to help you with that too you know I'm not saying we're gonna go start replacing every wall with a different color you got to keep a theme but what I'm saying is that adding another color well you know that helps out a, another one like birchwood and oakwood uh, they look pretty nice together uh, it just, it'll make it seem more interesting, and that's obviously what building's all about, making your builds look interesting, right? Also, don't forget to add some details, like I got some uh, little fence gates, some shutters on these windows, and I also have some more fence gates, just mixing it up a little bit, um, and I'd say that's kind of like adding texture, details like adding texture, you could say. So really, it's all the small things that add up. Anyways, let's move on over to our next one. And this is where things got a little interesting. First thing I wanted to do was add a chimney. And this may be a little off topic, but did you know your eyes are actually attracted to moving objects? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. And that smoke chimney, the smoke coming out of the chimney, uh, it draws your eye here. <laughs> That's a very minor detail. Probably, like, doesn't even matter that much. But you can see that it does that. But anyways, once again, I mix up the shapes more and more. You know, I was building this these upgrades and I was like, hmm, what can I do? And all I could think about is adding more and more shapes. So I added uh, a little awning here, I guess, with a little bit of gravel. And then I also added this little roof thing, another awning here, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. And then I added some bushes. Uh, yep, that's pretty cool. And also the chimney was another shape. I, I really can't trust you guys enough uh, that adding shapes to your builds really, really helps them out. <laughs> like really does. Even if it's something off to the side like a wagon or if you build a car, <laughs> it'll really help out the build. Uh, just causing the eye to have more to look at. And now we head over to the final transformation. This is in the thumbnail here. And you can see what we have turned the box way back there. Oh, can't see it anymore it's at a render distance but you can see what we turned in this box we just added one shape two shape and started adding some uh extra little bits to it like an awning and uh, also added another shape here and here and you can see that just transformed this small box into this also i added some custom trees i just really couldn't help it uh with uh Jermsey boys better leaves add-on beautiful leaves look at that i couldn't help myself the custom trees i was just they were screaming at me i was like man this place needs some beautiful greenery and look at that look at that let's turn on some shaders oh my gosh look at this oh it's so good and you know what last night when i was building this yes i was building it last night i got a little overboard i i just did an interior and you can see um this is totally off topic from from the video but i did an interior here's a kitchen um here's some chests uh, up here, we got ourselves a little bedroom with some ancient debris. That's pretty cool. And most importantly, an enchantment station using some crimson stairs. Beautiful. Um, I, I don't know. I think this is really, really awesome. This house, <laughs> and I, I actually was like, oh, I'm just going to transform a little box, add a couple of shapes. It's going to be great. And I ended up really, really getting carried away. <laughs> and I love this house. So anyways, I want to go and show you guys some of my build just to give you a couple more example of the things we just talked about. Uh, you know, Yvar, <laughs> adding more shapes to our builds. Let's just go over, and I think I have a couple more builds here. Well, actually, the only other build I wanted to show you was this one, where I started with one uh, base layout. This is also posted on my Instagram. Uh, you, you, can, you can see it if you go there. I started with a couple shapes. This one right here, this one right here, and also this one back here. And once I did that, I was like, hmm, well, what can we do? So I added this little... Uh, I don't know, support, I guess. It totally doesn't make any sense, but it works. I added a little bit of a balcony, and I added this balcony here with some wool. 
um, you know, the color kind of fits with this, uh, I don't know, light birch and sandstone stuff. I also added some little garden planter boxes with a little pond here. Um, I noticed this kind of looked like an arrow when I added some glazed terracotta within it. Yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, I just really like this build, and I'm actually going to be expanding this once again soon <laughs> going off this way i believe now why don't i hop on over to my survival world where i have been building on there since like october of 2019 and uh, i just want to show you a couple things there so now here we are in my medieval city along with my castle and mountains here and i just want to show you that actually not too long ago i still uh, i had the same mistake where i just wouldn't add interesting shapes to my builds you can see here that with this i just built a big old diagonal box cool diagonal box that's not bad uh, same with this one but then I added a tower and I realized the power of shapes so I've sort of transformed this little area right around here in my medieval city <laughs> after I realized man adding more shapes is really really good um, and you can see that here we got like one two three uh, four different little shapes in this one house and it's a little more interesting to look at and here you can see my plan for my next buildings in my little city area. And I think they're going to turn out really good now that I've learned more about adding more shapes and things. Um, but what I want to really, really get across to you guys. Oh, I remember why I had that gold helmet on. Because my ears are broken on my skin. Um, is that when you're building here, when you're building big things like this, you got to think about the big picture. Think about how it's all going to look together how all these buildings are going to help each other look good <laughs> once we go up to my castle i'll show you another example of this idea but you know i added a uh, one rectangle here and one rectangle here but then we also have all these other buildings helping those look good they're helping it make it look interesting and uh that is something you got to think about always the big picture in what you're building when I built these, when I started building these mountains, I didn't really think about it much, but now that I'm learning more about building in Minecraft, I have realized that these are actually helping to close the city in, and then it's going to make this place feel so much more full. Whereas if I didn't have these mountains, they would kind of just be buildings here, <laughs> and the city would be too big, I'd have so much going on. Anyways, my point is, is that you got to think of the big picture. Maybe this little building down here won't look very good by itself. I mean, it actually is kind of a weird building. It's got like dark oak and granite. Like, <laughs> I I really should reevaluate my, re my decisions with this one. Um, anyways, y you get my point. Now coming up to my castle, this is where I really, really saw the big picture on adding more shapes and, and, and Wyvar <laughs> to uh, builds. I really thought about it and I was like, well, you know, we're building separate buildings. Like we got the gatehouse, it's a couple different shapes together. We got walls here, towers and things like this, but it's all one big build, all working together to make it look amazing. That looks really stupid, I need to fix that. Now, obviously the interior of this place is unfinished. There's still a couple more buildings I need to finish in here. There's like this little, I don't know, greenery garden area. I still need to get some more trees around here. But, um, yeah, you can just see all these shapes are working together. They're not just like freestanding buildings and calling it a castle. That's what I did with this. I built a gatehouse and then I built a feast hall and they're all just buildings standing by themselves. And with castles, you kind of got to think about it. they're all one big building connected. <laughs> and so, uh, that's kind of why I tore this down. But you know what guys, I'm going to shut up for now. You guys can go check out my other videos if you want to see other builds of things like this. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed and I hope I uh, inspired you to start building some more in Minecraft. And look at me, I'm floating. So with that guys, good luck with your beautiful builds in this beautiful game called Minecraft. And I will catch you later. See ya.